Hi guys, today I'll be doing paper uh, 1 3 May June 2022 series. Uh, this paper is 45 minutes and 40 questions. Okay, let's go. Okay, so all living organisms release energy from nutrient molecules within their cells. What is the name of this characteristic? Okay. So when organisms release energy, the the process that does this is actually respiration. So therefore, one is C. Number two. Scientific names for some animals are listed. Which animals are in the same genus? Okay. So in the um, binomial nomenclature. In the binomial nomenclature, the first part of the name is the genus followed by the species. So therefore, which of these has the same first part of the name? Would be 2 and 3, so the answer would be C. Okay. Question 3. The diagram shows dichotomous keys for arthropods. The organism shown is an arthropod called an isopod. Which group does this isopod belong to? Right. So this question is asking if you know how to read a dichotomous key. So have we seen the, the diagram? First, has the animal got wings? Uh, no, the animal does not have wings, so therefore, we go this way. Has the animal got only four pairs of legs? Right, obviously, it has more than four pairs of legs, therefore, no. Okay, has the animal got two pairs of antennae? We see, yes, it has one pair, one, one longer pair, and one smaller pair. Therefore, it has two pairs of antennae, it has to be a crustacean. So therefore, the answer is B, crustacean. Okay. The diagram shows a cross-section through two gut cells of a leaf. Which label structures will also be found in an animal cell? Right. So, W is a nucleus. X is cell membrane. Y is chloroplast. And Z is cell wall. Therefore, which of these is also found in animal cells? Only W and X is found in animal cells. Therefore, answer is A. Question 5. <coughs> which level of organization is shown by the heart of a mammal? So a heart is an organ. Therefore, C. Okay. The image shows a single cell organism called a paramecium. So the length of a paramecium in the image is 6 cm. The magnification is 400 times. Which calculation would give the correct actual length of the paramecium in millimeters? So, uh, first step, they give you the image length, which is 6. So this is 6 cm. Yeah? And they give you the magnification. So, in firstly, you have to convert cm to millimeters. So, 60, 6 cm yeah? times 10 equals 60 millimeters. Then you take 60 millimeters. They divide by the magnification okay, to get the actual answer. So therefore, the calculation that will give the correct actual length would be A. Okay. Next. Female moths release chemicals into the air. Male moths detect these chemicals and fly towards the females. How do the chemicals spread through the air? Right. So, It's not active transport because no energy is used. It's not osmosis because it doesn't relate to water. It's not transpiration because female moths are not plants. So therefore, it has to be diffusion. Okay. So question 8. Which part is partially permeable in, the, in this cell? Okay. The only part that's partially permeable would be B. Okay. Because B controls the the what goes in out of the leaf. So therefore the answer has to be B, right? Of, of the cell, sorry, not the leaf. What are the smaller basic units of starch and glycogen molecules? So, uh, naturally, starch is made out of glucose. Glyc glycogen is also made out of glucose. The answer is D. Amino acids are for proteins and fatty acids and glycerol are for uh, triglyceride. Okay. What is the correct definition of an enzyme? An enzyme would, is a, firstly, an enzyme is a protein and it acts as a catalyst to speed up the rate of a reaction. So therefore, the answer has to be B, a protein that functions as a biological catalyst. Okay. 
the diagram shows two food types being carried out on solution X. So solution X, Burette solution, Benedict solution. Okay. So whenever you use Burette solution, it would be testing for protein. When you're using Benedict, it will be testing for reducing sugar. Okay. So when it turns purple, you have it's positive for proteins. If you have a red color, it will be positive for reducing sugar. Therefore, the question asks, which, to, which nutrients are present in solution X? Protein and sugar are both present in solution X. Okay. Uh, it is important to note that starch is not uh, an answer for the Benedict solution because starch is not a reducing sugar. Starch is made out of reducing sugars. Starch itself is not a reducing sugar. Okay. Which chemical is a product of photosynthesis that moves out of a green leaf through its stomata? So a product of a gaseous product of photosynthesis would be oxygen, and oxygen will move out of the stomata during photosynthesis. Okay. Next, a student investigated one of the factors that affects photosynthesis. Part of the leaf was covered with black paper, as shown. Two days after the uh, after two days, the student tested the leaf for the presence of starch. Which factor did the student investigate? Right. So, uh, when the student covers this part of the leaf with black paper. The, the reason he's using black paper is because he wants to uh, investigate light intensity, right? He's trying to compare if an area that has light or has light versus an area that's absent in light or no light. Okay. So next, which nutrient is required to prevent scurvy? Scurvy is a uh, deficiency of vitamin C. Therefore, the answer is C. Next. Which diagram represents the action of lipase? Okay, so lipase is a enzyme, an enzyme for lipids, okay, lipids or fats, right? So, uh, action of an enzyme would be uh, B. Because the hexagon is an enzyme, so this is the enzyme, substance 1 here so the uh, lipase is actually used to break down fats and lipids right so therefore the enzyme will uh, in the active side of the enzyme it will connect with the first substance which is a lipid and you'll break it down into smaller sections okay the enzyme is not part of the the reaction the enzyme is only there to make the reaction go forward okay so therefore B has to be the only answer because the enzyme is on top of the arrow okay next the diagram shows the human elementary canal with a string marked in meters beside it how long is the small intestine okay, simple the small intestine starts from the end of the stomach all the way to the large intestine so if here it says 1 and at the bottom here it says 7 the answer would be 7 minus 1 equals 6, right? So therefore, how long is the small intestine? 6 meters, okay? Now, question 17. The image shows a cross-section of part of a leaf. Which label structure is the xylem? Okay, so let's see. A is palisade mesophyll. So this is where most of the photosynthesis takes place. Uh, C would be lower epidermis, right? So this is where all the stomata would be. D is spongy mesophyll. So this is where gas exchange occurs. And lastly, B is the xylem. Okay. Firstly, it's because it's inside this thing known as a vascular bundle. Secondly, if you you look closely. The walls are thicker than the other walls of the other cells, right? And xylem have thick walls because they are made out of lignin. So therefore, the answer of 17 is B. Okay. The diagram shows a cross-section of a root. The three regions of the root are numbered. Which region contains cells through which water must pass to reach the xylem? Okay, so... Uh, so... So if water is on the outside here, so water is here, 
to get inside he has to pass through uh the outer layer so the first layer is the root hair cell must go through here secondly it must pass through the cortex and then finally it will pass it can directly go into the xylem it doesn't have to go through the phloem okay so uh which which cells must water pass through to reach the xylem only one and two because it can skip the phloem okay it can go directly into the xylem the student runs 400 meters which effects will this have so he, the student has run quite a considerable distance the depth of breathing so how heavy his breathing will increase okay so it's either b or d and the rate of breathing would increase because he needs more oxygen so these two is actually to increase oxygen concentration in the body okay the pulse rate also increases because you want to pump more blood throughout the body okay because your cells need the oxygen so you need to pump blood you need to pump more blood quicker right so that's why your pulse rate also increases okay so therefore 19 is d which process is slower than normal in a person with very few platelets so platelets is involved in uh, blood clotting okay if you don't have platelets your blood is not able to clot properly therefore if you have less platelets the process would be slower okay the body has several methods of avoiding infection by pathogens including specialized cells mechanical barriers and chemical barriers which row is a correct example of for each method so uh so between hairs in the nose and phagocytes only phagocytes is considered a cell. Hairs are not considered cells. Sorry about that. So, phagocytes would be the specialized cells. So, the answer has to be C or D. Mechanical barrier would be the hairs in the nose, right? There's no chemical reaction taking place between hairs and the pathogens. Stomach acid would be the chemical barrier because the acid will break down the pathogen. So Therefore, the answer is D. The diagram shows the apparatus used, to, used in an investigation of gas exchange in humans. The person breathes through the central tube five times. Okay. What is the expected result in flask X and Y? So, lime water. So, when lime water uh, is present in CO2, so has CO2, when lime water has CO2, it will turn cloudy, right? So, between between these two, um, between X and Y, the difference is the this tube, the tube in Y goes down into the lime water, but the tube in X doesn't go down into the lime water. So therefore, in Y, well, when when the person breathes in and out in Y, a uh, flask Y would have CO two because the tube the CO two is able to reach into the water and bubble, uh, the lime water. When X the CO2 is not able to uh, the CO2 is not able to bubble into the lime water. So therefore the answer has to be uh, B. Right? Clear. X is clear, so Y is cloudy. Because the lime water in X would not contain carbon dioxide, but the lime water in Y would contain carbon dioxide. Which substances are used in aerobic respiration? So respiration would be glucose plus oxygen. You get carbon dioxide plus water. So which of these substances are used? So which is a product? Uh, answer is B. Glucose and oxygen are used but not water. Okay, water is a product, sorry. This is a reactant. Sorry. So which reactants are used, not product? Okay, next. The bar chart shows the percentage composition of two gases in four samples of air. Which sample is expired air? Okay. So, uh, first thing is first, expired air has a high, high CO2 concentration, but a lower oxygen concentration, right? However, when you breathe out expired air, uh, the the concentration will not be very drastic right so so a and b is wrong because the concentration of carbon dioxide would be higher 
and the concentration of oxygen will be lower, much lower, right? But uh, C is also wrong because the concentration of carbon dioxide is way too high. Okay, 40% of the air as carbon dioxide is way too high, right? So even though uh, we need oxygen and we breathe out carbon dioxide, the amount of air that we breathe in is actually still mainly nitrogen. Okay, so therefore the change would would not be very very drastic like this, right? It wouldn't have a drastic change like this. So only answer that's plausible would be D. Okay, the carbon dioxide still increases, the oxygen still decreases, but the oxygen uh, and carbon di the oxygen is still more than the carbon dioxide. Okay. The diagram shows the excretory system, which labels the ureter and the bladder. Right. So let's see. So this one is a kidney. Right. It's the bean-looking organ. Number two would be the <coughs> ureter. So this is the ureter. Number three is the bladder. And number four is urethra. Okay, so a person will have two ureters but one urethra. Okay, so which labels are the ureter and the bladder? Two and three. The answer is B. Okay. Now, 26. Which conditions will result in the largest volume of urine being produced by the kidneys? So, <coughs> um, so in this question, largest volume of urine so if you drink more water naturally you would have more urine produced because your body needs to uh, remove more water from the body to keep to maintain homeostasis so therefore the answer has to be a or c uh, the environment tem environmental temperature so uh, at a higher temperature your body needs more water okay to cool to cool down and everything Therefore, your body also needs more water to sweat, right? So therefore, at a lower temperature, you require less water. So therefore, the answer has to be A. Because at lower temperatures, you wouldn't sweat as, as much, right? <coughs> 26 is A. A simple reflex arc consists of four components between a receptor and a response. Which component is the motor neuron? Right. So receptor first will go into sensory neuron, okay, followed by relay neuron, okay, followed by motor neuron, followed by effector, followed by response. So sensory neuron will send the signal from the receptor to the relay neuron, which is in the, the uh, your backbone. And then this relay neuron passes the signal to the motor neuron. Okay, and the motor neuron would pass the signal to the correct effector. So this can be a muscle, or it can be a gland to secrete hormones. Okay, so therefore, which component is the motor neuron? It's C. Twenty-eight. Which part of the eye focuses light on the retina? Okay, so. The lens, the purpose of the lens is to focus the light on the retina, okay? So the retina is where all the the, the cells that detect the light, that detect light and color are, okay? So your rod and cone cells are found on the retina, okay? Which statement about a hormone insulin is correct? It is produced by the liver and raises blood sugar concentration. Uh, this is wrong. Because insulin reduces blood sugar concentration, okay. uh, it is produced by the liver and lowers blood sugar concentration. That's wrong because it's not produced by the liver. Okay, Insulin is produced by the pancreas. So C is also wrong because it raises blood sugar concentration. Therefore, the answer is D because it's produced by the pancreas and it lowers blood sugar concentration. Okay, The diagram shows the effect of four different antibiotics, A, B, C, and D. The growth of one type of bacteria. Uh, sorry. The growth, sorry, the bacteria were grown on agar jelly in a petri dish. 
When bacteria covered the whole surface of the agar, paper discs soaked in each antibiotic were placed on top of the agar. The diagram shows the appearance of the petri dish 48 hours after the paper discs were added. Which antibiotic is the most effective treatment for this type of bacteria? Okay, <coughs> so as you can see, the grey region is bacteria. That's present bacteria, right? The darker grey would be the antibiotic and the white areas has no bacteria present. So therefore, the, the most effective treatment would be B because, uh, because the, the, air, the white area is the largest, right? So the most, most of the bacteria will not be near this antibiotic. So therefore, it would be the most effective at treating the bacteria, right? Compared to A, which has a smaller white circle, so it is less effective in repelling the bacteria. Okay, therefore the answer is B. The four processes involved in labor and birth are shown. In which sequence do these events normally occur? Right. So, let's see. Uh, contraction of muscles, muscles in the uterus wall. So this would always be first. Right. And next. Uh, yes, next would be the dilation of the cervix because uh, the baby needs to pass through the, the cervix so the cervix needs to dilate so it gets bigger, right? So first, the muscles will contract in the wall. Second, the cervix will dilate. And fifth, uh, the baby would pass through the vagina out into the world. So therefore, number three is, is number three. Number four, uh, Number four will be cutting the umbilical cord, right? Because the mom is supplying nutrients to the child through the umbilical cord. So once the baby is out, the mom doesn't need to supply nutrients to the child anymore. So therefore, this is number four. You cut the umbilical cord. And finally, number five would be the de delivery of the afterbirth. So this is, uh, this is how the placenta is removed from the mother. Lah. So the uh, this will be the last. Therefore, the answer would be A, which follows this sequence. 2, 4, 5, 1, 3. Next. The diagram shows four types of birth control device. Which methods of birth control offer protection against sexually transmitted infection? Okay. So, <coughs> this is a condom. This is a needum. And this is a intra uterine device okay so uh, and this is sort of a, a cover lah. so to protect against sexually transmitted infections the the birth control would have to be a number one a barrier between the genitals okay so therefore the only two that provides a barrier between the genitals would be the condom and the femidum. Okay, so therefore the answer would be A. Okay, because these these two, they don't um. They don't protect against. The, the fluids that are transferred. Which are the main cause of STIs. Okay, so the only one that provides a barrier would be. One and two. Okay. The table shows the percentage of pregnancies in four groups of women. Each group used a different method of birth control. Which type of birth control was the most effective? Okay. So therefore, the lower the percentage, the better, the more effective it is, right? So the most effective would be, in this case, vasectomy because it's zero percent. Would be vasectomy is a surgical process. Okay. And thirty-four. Which sex hormones in the egg cell and the, uh, and the sperm will produce a female child? Okay, so the egg cell will only have XX chromosomes. The, in the, the egg cell will only have X chromosomes, sorry. The sperm cell could have X or Y. Okay, to produce a female child, you want XX. Okay, so therefore, answer is A. Which statement about selective breeding is correct? It does not involve humans, that's wrong. It does involve humans. 
involves a struggle for survival wrong because it doesn't have to do with nature it always involves one parent that's wrong it can involve more than one parent it involves parents that possess desirable features that's the answer because the point of selective breeding is to enhance is to enhance the desirable features okay which process uses the principal source of energy input to biological systems okay so principal source of energy input means how does the biological system first get energy so they first get energy through photosynthesis taking the energy from the sun right next okay, seven what is the name of an organism that obtains its energy from dead organic material okay so since the, the material is dead it cannot be uh cannot be a cannot be d okay so it uh it can be b but it is more it is better c is a better answer compared to b right because c is more specific from dead organic material would be decomposers so decomposers would obtain energy from dead organic material okay so like uh, some mushrooms or fungi or uh, bacteria they are all decomposers right it's not carnivore or herbivore because organic material can be plants or animals right it can be either or both okay so 38 a herd of red deer live in a forest that contains snakes and a large variety of birds which group of organisms is an example of a population so b is b is the population because uh the red deer is one species and there's many of these species in the forest so the number of uh, the number of red deers in the forest would be a population because it only consists of one species okay which process makes use of the genetically engineered organism answer is a using bacteria to produce insulin because insulin is a human hormone it's a hormone produced by humans okay bacteria don't produce insulin so if we are using bacteria to produce something that they don't naturally produce is a form of genetic engineering okay the full web shows the feeding relationships in a woodland all oh, for the chaffinches in a full web diet which effect will this have the amount of damage to trees will increase that's the answer because as uh chaffinches decrease caterpillars will increase because they have less predators sparrow hawks will decrease wood pigeons will decrease gray squirrels will decrease trees will decrease okay this is because as there's more caterpillars there'll be less food so there'll be less trees and because of less trees there'll be less gray squirrels and less wood pigeons because they have more competition with the caterpillars for the trees right so therefore a is the answer and that's it for this paper so Thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time. Remember to like and subscribe. Ciao.